So guys, if you are a Roman Catholic devotee of our Virgin Mary, um, if you happen to go to Mexico, uh, Our Lady of Guadalupe Shrine is a must-visit place here in this city because um, it's very near to Mexico City, so it doesn't take it, it doesn't take too much of your time. And I've always been a Marian devotee. Actually, I'm supposed to go to Bosnia in Medjugorje. Uh, for my birthday, but uh, circumstances happened and plans have changed But uh, God is so good because I was still able able to visit a pilgrimage site But here in Mexico City and that is uh, Guadalupe So uh, let me take you a tour in the shrine mm -hmm. Welcome to the Basilica of Guadalupe. This is a Catholic frame dedicated to the Virgin of Guadalupe it is one of the most visited religious centers in the world. And if we are going to visit the Basilica, it's very important to know who was Juan Diego. Do you know who was he? Juan Diego was an indigenous. He didn't speak in Spanish. He spoke in Nahuatl. Also, his original name was called Plato Atzin. And you know, Juan Diego lived all the process of the conquest and after that, he was baptized by the Franciscans. And you know, he received these new religions as yours. He was very devoted. Do you remember the church of Tlatelolco? He attended mass every day in the church of Tlatelolco. So imagine please, that in the time of Juan Diego, this was an arid area with a lot of Mexican cactus. And this is the Tepeyac Hill, and it was located at the shore of the lake. So our story begins 10 years after the conquest. Juan Diego was walking here at, because the Tepeyac was uh, Juan Diego's way to Tlatelolco Church. Our story begins 10 years after the conquest on November 9, 1531. Juan Dieguito was walking here and suddenly he saw a beautiful woman with dark skin, black hair, and brown eyes. And the woman says, Juanito, Juan Dieguito, my lovely son, I am the mother of God and I have a message for you. Please go and tell the bishop that I want my Teocali here in the Tepeyac. What is a Teocali, guys? Teocali is a word in Nahuatl, which means temple. And of course, at the beginning, Juan Diego was speechless, but he did what she said. Unfortunately, the bishop was left unconvinced. So later, the same day, Juan Diego saw the Virgin, and Juan Diego explained that the, vir that, that the bishop didn't believe him. The Virgin asked him to continue insisting. The next day, after the Mass, Juan Diego spoke to the bishop a second time, and the bishop demanded a proof of the vision. Later that day, Juan Diego returned to the hill of Tepeyac, and he said to the Virgin that the bishop was asking for a sign. The Virgin agreed, but she asked him to come back the next day because it was late and he needed to go home uh, early. So Juan Diego said goodbye and headed home. But guess what? When Juan Diego arrived to his house, he received the terrible news that his uncle Juan Bernardino was very sick. He had a smallpox. <laughs> so the next day, uh, Juan Diego stay at his house to take care of his uncle and he was sure that the virgin would understand. The next day on December the 12th, 1531, his uncle was dying. So Juan Diego was looking for a priest to administer the holy oils to his uncle. To avoid being delayed by the virgin, 
uh, Juan Diego chose another route, but the Virgin intercepts him. And the Virgin asks him, Juan Di Juanito, Juan Dieguito, where are you going? And Juan Diego explained the situation of his uncle. Guys, in that moment, the Virgin was very quiet and serene, and she said, Am I not here that I'm your mother? Don't worry about your uncle's illness. In this moment, he's healthy. He is okay. And the Virgin continues saying, Juan Diego, please go to the top of the hill. You will see some roses. The roses will be the proof for the vision. So Juan Diego climbed the hill of the Tepeyac and he saw some roses. He picked some of the roses. He kept their, I, can you hold it? He kept uh, some of the roses inside of his cloak and he went towards Bishop house. When he was before the bishop, Juan Diego opened his cloak, the roses fell out, and it was in print the beautiful and holy image of the Virgin of Guadalupe on the cap of Juan Diego. In that moment, the bishop fell on his knees and he said, sorry Juan Diego, because I didn't believe you. I will give the order to build the temple for the Virgin. So we are here. So from 1531 to the present day, the Mexican people have been built several temples for the Virgin, for the image. The first, set, the first temple that the bishop built, unfortunately, uh, doesn't exist anymore. It was destroyed. And it was very small. It was like a hut. But it was destroyed to build a bigger one. Uh, we don't have enough time to visit the ruins of this first temple. Um, the ruins of this first temple are over there on your left. Is the first one. in the old basilica. This is the old basilica, the construction design. And for a lot of years, the image was there, was inside. But the Mexican people decide to move the image to another place, to a new place. Why? Because this basilica is sinking. I really recommend you to visit it because you will see this gorgeous, it's beautiful, but you will feel that it's sinking. Oh wow. So this is why the Mexican people built this basilica, the new one. Oh. And look, it's possible to see the image of the Virgin, but you see it in front of us. Yeah. Yes? <coughs> so we are going to visit the image of the Virgin. We can take the oh. And the Hoy es tiempo de que nos comprometamos a decir a Dios, amo a la gente y quiero pedir que nos enseñe a compartir con la vida desde la salvación lo que tenemos que hacer.
So hello friends, so I feel so blessed to be able to come here in the exact spot where Our Lady appeared to the seer. Um, sarap ng feeling at uh, magaan sa dibdib. So, I did pray for my family, my friends, my loved ones, special ones. So, I prayed for peace, happiness, more blessings, and more graces. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. This has been Christian Liu of Christian Liu Vlogs. Thank you and God bless.